Whoa! It's like a spa in a mini bottle. I don't know why the bugs don't like this. If I was a bug, I would like just sit down and relax next to this. I am trying to control pests in my garden. It's really hard when your garden is organic because we can't use any chemicals. So these are organic and natural pesticides that I've put together. I've scoured the internet. I've talked to people in the industry and these seem to be the top five organic pesticides. And we're going to not only make them but try them all as well and see which ones work best. So the first thing on my list is actually eucalyptus oil. And that's gonna deter the bugs from the area. Personally, I love eucalyptus oil. That would just draw me into the plants, but I'm going to give it a try. It's really powerful. Be careful. You don't want to get it like on your fingers and then rub your face. But eucalyptus oil, that's the first test. Organic pesticide number one. Organic pesticide number two is a bit of a chunky concoction. Basically what I did is I minced up uh, some garlic cloves and like half an onion. I really mashed it up, put it in a half a quart of water. Then I put some cayenne pepper in there, mixed it up. Then I even put in a little bit of dish soap. Let it sit for an hour and then I kind of agitated it again, mixed it up and this is what you get. Obviously you wanna mash it up super thin. If you have like a potato masher, I might even suggest using that. If it's too thick, you may just have to pour it on. So I'm ready to give this one a try. One of the things I am gonna say is that you probably don't wanna spray flowers. In the garden, it's important that you spray leaves or you can maybe spray the fruit. Wherever you see the pest, you see the pest, you give it the spray. But try not to spray the flowers because then they might not get pollinated because you're gonna deter all the bugs. All right. Organic pesticide number three, this is chrysanthemum tea. I boiled 100 grams of dried flowers into one liter of water, boiled it for 20 minutes, strained and cooled. Let it sit and put it in a bottle and it sprays really nice. So that one should be easy. Another organic pesticide that I have here is my crystal salts concoction. So I'm using half a tablespoon of organic Himalayan crystal salt and four cups of warm water. And basically it takes sometimes almost an hour for those crystals to dissolve. They're completely dissolved in here now. Basically a salt spray. Just a salty spray. It's like the ocean in a bottle. We'll see. Himalayan ocean in a bottle. Another thing we're gonna try for organic pest control is our neem oil concoction. And what I've got in here, I've got half an ounce of organic neem oil. I've got half a teaspoon of organic liquid soap and uh, half a quart of warm water. And the hardest part of this one is actually finding the neem oil. And neem oil, I learned, is a fruit. Neem is a fruit that grows on an evergreen tree. And sometimes, uh, you know, these evergreens will produce fruit that repels insects. So I can see how this would work as like an organic insecticide. It's chunky, nasty stuff. However, it smells like onions and cocoa, kind of like chocolate onions. It's really revolting, actually. Seems to work really well in an aerator. There we go. I'm gonna try all of these out. I'm gonna see how it works on the plants and I'll let you know the results. Hey, thanks for watching. If you missed what we did last week, it's right here. If you wanna see what we did next, it's right here. Check out both if you have time. <laughs>